Good morning, children. Fantastic. I don't know, what is it now? Day three? Day four? I think it's day three now. Welcome to day three of the circuit breaker sessions. Can everybody hear me? Are we good? Hello, friends on the motherfucking stream. Let's see who's watching us today. Hi. Yikai, good morning, Joyce, Elaine, Mika, Mohit, hello from Goa, baby, how's Goa doing? Oh, Yikai, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you a fucking uh, switch in music, man, I'll make it on, I'll uh, make it on air, I'll make it on air for you, actually, I will make one on air and I'll drink it myself, and then I'll get the boys to make you one in sterile conditions, and you can pick it up later. When do you want to pick it up, you let me know. Good. So this is uh, this is day three or four of the stream. Uh, surprise, we're still doing this. Surprise, my voice hasn't gone to fucking shit. Do you know that every day, like I wake up, I gotta like gargle for a while. I have so much respect for people who do this for a living. This is not easy. I mean, you guys know me. I love the sound of my own voice. I am a narcissistic fucker. And even I find it hard to do this. I mean, much respect to all the people who do this professionally. Um, quick update. Today we have Andrea from Old Man. I'm going to talk to him. Uh, and then we're going to talk to Seaweed from SM's Cold Ring Store later. And later in the night, Andy from Tipling Club. In between, I shall make some drinks. Uh, I think we're going to see how fast Damon Park can make a fucking whiskey sour. Uh, what else are we gonna do? Uh, as you guys know, uh, if you want to get our cocktail kits, you want to order your cocktails live on stream, go to fmb.com. You can grab that shit over there. You're also running a campaign to help food and beverage businesses. Go get funding.com slash fnbsc. Uh, the links are on your screen. Are the links on the screen? The links are on the fucking stream. Um, good, fantastic. Uh, yo, production team, is uh, Andrew App on the way somewhere? Andrea is walking to his Skype right now. Takes a little bit of time. So, uh, what's going on? Alrighty. Nine people watching. That's not a bad start. I should, uh, I should make myself a drink before, um, before we start. Where is it? Okay, Americano, where is that? Give me Coke Americano Bianco. Uh, switching music is Coke Americano Bianco, Campari and Gin, right? I'm here. Welcome on the stream, brother. Thanks for the support, man. Appreciate you. Uh, Andrew's on? Uh, right, call it. I'm going to make myself a drink because, you know. It's a fucking Friday. It's a fucking Friday. All right. So this drink George. was made. All right. Hold on a sec. Hello. Hello, old man. Hey, young man, bro. Hey, no, no bad, no bad. You wait a second, huh? I make a drink first. Then you get the... Eh? I will go very slow, very fucking fast one, eh, bro? Landscape. Landscape. Hey, hey, Chabo, you landscape your screen, can or no? You turn your fucking phone around, landscape. Ah, call it, call it. Ah, it's, it's, it's a bit funny when I look at it, but it's good? No. No. What should we do? Uh, switch on the phone, the rotation. Uh, 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 right. Settings on the phone. Uh, Andrew, uh, you need to switch on your phone, the rotation thing. No, I, I didn't say, rotate the phone, on your phone. Motherfucker. Uh, tech support? Oh, great, somebody has already started breaking shit. You know, you, you, on the stream, like, we can... Literally start seeing the top of your fucking head. Can anybody see what the fuck Andrew's doing? 
Right, great, I've lost him completely. Andrew, stay on the line while we figure out these tech support issues. While Andrew is getting his shit together and learning how to use Skype, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I'm gonna show you, motherfuckers, one of the Yikai Classics at Spiffy Dapper. This is a very simple taker and Negroni. It's Koki Americano Bianco with a little bit of gin. Chivai. I would never do such a thing. Where's Kambari? Uh, Kambari, you know, it's a very simple and easy take on the Negroni. Why is it called Sweet Music? Nobody knows. Oh, I know. It is because Ikai likes Shawn Michaels. And Shawn Michaels, the WWE star, you know, when he fucking punches people, he used to say, uh, Sweet Chin Music or something. Yeah, let's do that. Just don't go to Sweet Chin, okay? Just don't go to switch and don't sit outside. No dining. Okay, man, I can see you on the stream now. Yeah, I've been watching you. Fantastic. Old oh, man, how's life? Life is okay, lah. Can lah. Can lah, can la. Cheers, bro. Yes. Good to have you on. All right, so, for the folks who are not acquainted, Andrew fucking, yeah. Uh, oh, I had a middle name to it. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, I mean, I always thought that was always there. You know, Andrew fucking Yap uh, <laughs> uh, was not in Singapore for the longest time. He was based out of Hong Kong, came back to manage Neon Pigeon, and now he uh, is one of the founding partners at Old Man Singapore. Is that right? Yep, it is. Correct. Um, Old Man, you must have uh, heard of it. It is fucking cool. It's inspired by Ernest fucking Hemingway. Um, yep. The alcoholic. I, 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 exactly. I like most of Hemingway stuff. Actually, no, the, the other way. I am not a big fan of Hemingway except for Old Man in the Sea. That is one of my favorite books of all time. The rest of his stuff is a bit too terse for me. I mean, uh, brief for me. But, you know, fuck that. So, Andrew, tell me a story. Yo. How the did story you end works. up? How, 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 did the, how the fuck did you end up at Old Man? How did this uh, transpire? With another Old Man. His name is called Agong. Okay. I mean, let's start uh, from the start. How the fuck did you end up in Hong Kong? How did you end up in New York? Da 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 da. Like, yeah, time yeah, tell me the story. Yeah. Easy. I went to Hong Kong because uh, of my second kid. Okay. When she was young, so my wife is based in Hong Kong. She works for Cathay Pacific. Okay. So based on that situation, I decided to quit my job. Then just flew over and become a house daddy for about a year and a half. Yeah. And it was a Quite a good fun because I could actually play football twice a week. <laughs> then yeah, eventually managed to get a visa, a pass from my family. Then yep. yagada yagada, work my way off from nowhere in Hong Kong. So you were you were doing Stockton. Uh, Stockton was my last place before I came back to Singapore. Yeah, I was working for Maximal Concepts, which was actually. The best start I had in Hong Kong, though, uh, had one of the best bosses in town, uh, Malcolm. 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 Well, I don't Wood. know who the fuck you are, Malcolm, but shout out to you, bro. Yeah, Malcolm Wood was one of the best bosses that I've worked with. Uh, yeah, I had the liberal of running that place. Yeah. So he his... had free reign. You could do whatever the fuck you wanted to do. Yeah, I had the best time ever. Then basically had the opportunity to open up Stockton. Yep. With uh, Suraj and the rest of the team. I know, I think you met Suraj before he came here a few times to Singapore. Must have. Yeah. Then, yeah, that was my last posting in Singapore before I came back. Cool. So, and you, you were, you, yeah, you came back and started Neon Pigeon. And how did the whole old man thing transpire? Uh, the old man, the whole thing transpired because Agong and myself, we've been good friends. Then basically, yeah, we had a couple of drinks overnight, da da yada da yada, drinks over the bar, then a drinks again, and we set our side of opening Singapore because it's the cocktail capital of Asia. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah la. How about then? Never get the memos, yeah. I already said it to you a long time ago. <laughs> that's, that's why good. I don't have it. That's why I visit you, you a few you, times. You know, you know why Spiffy never get the memo or not? There was this time, right? We had... Yeah. Employees only, Jigger and Pony, Sugar Hall, and Native. They're yeah. all on some fucking list or the other. Asia's 50 pairs, Nachi, by all kinds of fucking lists. 
Mm. Fifi Dapper, you know, the, the funniest thing on list that I've seen was Fifi Dapper. There was this funny, just like world's best cocktail bar or some metal list somebody created. And Fifi <laughs> came on okay. number 250 or something, you know. That was the closest Fifi has come to any fucking list anywhere. So, you know, I, I think it is very real that I have missed the memo on the cocktail capital. I think it's typo error. La. It's typo <laughs> error. You, they either want zero. <laughs> 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 they saw George, then they start typing, typing, oh shit, we put an extra zero down there. I, I, I have a feeling that they missed the zero. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, you never know, you never know. You never know. Yo, tell me about what you guys do at Old Man. So, uh, compared to most of the venues, when you guys opened, the price point that you guys set was eight, 18 bucks? Uh, 17 still. Seven, 17 plus plus? Yeah. Um, uh, plus, yeah. 17 plus so mm. what's the effective price of the drink well basically what why we decided to actually put it at that price is because most of our cocktails are basically batch right yeah and we can actually control our costing and everything yeah and also basing exemplifying pushing the cocktail prices from hong kong which when they opened was only 90 dollars hong kong Right. How does that yeah. compare? I, what does ninety so compare? It's almost seventeen, eighteen dollars in Singapore. Okay. Yeah. So we want to stay true to the pricing when we open. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's literally that's how it works from Hong Kong to Singapore. Even okay. though it's bigger, three times bigger over here, but we still put it at the same. Cool. So you guys do like um, so you have a clear old fashioned. Yeah. Right. So tell me about that thing. What, how how do you how do you make it? Okay. I will walk you. With my phone. Passe! Ah, what through all around the venue. So, partially we are doing something right now, but it has already stopped. Yep. Uh, this is where it works. Yeah, what is that thing of magic? Uh, the one called Rotary Evaporator. Passe! Technology, boys! Uh, but then, so this is where the clear old fashioned comes out from. Mm -hmm. Old fashioned batch. Okay. Come out clear from here. This so is you, the thing. So yeah. effectively, you make a normal old fashioned, chuck it in that thing of magic, and it comes out clear. Yes, correct. So, so how does that happen? This is basically almost the same as distillation hot. Okay. Cold chamber. Okay. Gas goes up, liquid comes down clear. Well, I should have paid some attention to chemistry and physics back in the day. You know, I wouldn't be here. Anyways. All right, okay, okay so that is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, okay, so that's how you make the old-fashioned. So, you make that in what? One liter, two liter kind of batches kind of thing? Uh, this one, the moment we do about three liters. La. Okay. Mm. Awesome. Then, after that, this is our biggest washing machine. What is that? Centrifuge. Oh. Uh, so you, so, but you don't use that for the old-fashioned. You would use that for this one is to clarify the pink grapefruit juice that we have at the moment. Wow, see. The a lot of work, la, bro. It makes our life easy, like everything is measured, man. Ah. Okay, hi, guys, say hi to Annette. Hi. Hello, Annette. Hello. She's fixing our little bottling uh, area. Oh, nice. What's that? The sun also rises. Oh, what the fuck is that? What goes into that? Cocktail, la, buto. Wow, see. Aski only ma, you curse for what? You, you, anyhow, like, you yeah, make I chow, my feeling. I chow a sing what? I chow a sing. Yeah, what? Chow a sing me what? I chow a sing, the sec second category of chow a bing. Well, you mean the father of chow a bing? Uh, no, lower category. Lower, so you're not like bang enough lah. Like. Uh, not big enough, swap enough ni. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so, uh, other than the old fashions, what else are you guys doing? The... Basically, we have the sun also rises. Okay. It's on the menu. Uh, then after that, we have. What is that? I mean, I mean people understand what an old fashioned is like, but what what is the sun also rises? What the fuck is that? Oh, okay. It's so a little take of a tribute, a nation tribute to Hemingway, with a Negroni with a nation touch. So it has pandan there. A bit, a bit predictable, huh? You say Asian touch, but I must have put pandan inside. Uh, but then. <laughs> Have to lah. Okay. So it's a Pandan Negroni lah, basically. Yeah, 
basically is that the pandan has been sous vide with vermouth. Mm -hmm. Then you have late applejack brandy, high okay. talon. Then uh, fat wash with uh, coconut fats. Wow. Then so that the gin is actually sous vide with curry leaf. Hey, can I can I? That sounds that sounds. I told you can Asian yeah. touch, not only pandan. That, that sounds curry. like something I could drink. Yeah, easy easy. That one will take about two and a half days to prep just for that drink. Different different portions that actually blend together. Ah, interesting. Mm. So yeah. so those are the two drinks that you guys are selling. Then also, uh, mm, you, guys, like, you guys doing more drinks or that's just a couple of those? Uh, actually nine on the menu. Okay, so you're pretty much your whole menu you're sending. Yeah. Uh, no, wow. For now we're only doing six. Okay. Only six cocktails only. Everything that is actually stirred down. Uh, no citrus, no egg whites, yeah. no cook, no creams, nothing. So that will be such easy. No food poisoning coming. Nobody vomiting. Nobody complaining to SFA. Da 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 yada yada yada. Awesome. Uh, so uh, other than making these cocktails, how is it? How is the team dealing with uh, this TV CB situation? CB situation. <laughs> the CB situation. <laughs> the CB situation. Uh, the CCB situation. Everybody come. Uh, one staff will come in at about 11, mm -hmm. stay to about 4.30, then the other one comes in at 4.30, stays to about 9.30, close the shop at 10. Okay. Just for, del just for deliveries and takeaways. Yeah, it's actually it's interesting, you know, like, uh, it is kind of actually a, a breather for us as well. From the, yeah. even though I'm a little bit antsy, I, I'm not as, I, I like to be in a slightly more you know, uh, what's the word, a slightly more fast-paced day. More fast-paced, more busy. Yeah, yeah, more busy day. But at the same time, it's a, it's a good opportunity to kind of recharge and kind of figure out uh, new skill sets of the team. Uh. So it's like, okay, like Anna, some of it sucks, but some of it's actually not so bad. Uh. Not so bad. Uh. We can actually clean air conditioning filter, tidy up all the broken spots, polish, yeah, fix our polish, website, polish. update our website. Alright, so where do we get to, uh, where, where can people go and get your booze? It's www.theomansg.com You can have a takeaway, you can have a delivery. Delivery is $15 net, island-wide, payable to the driver. Because we are using limo drivers that are basically, have lost their incomes because of all the no traffic, no tourists, etc, etc. That is really cool, dude. That's a, that's a very cool fucking idea. Uh, www.oldmansg.com You yep. can see that link live on the fucking stream! Thank you, Marion Placido, for the link. Uh, Andrew, say hi to Marion. Marion's the fucking hi, superstar Marianne. who makes it all happen. Okay, hi. Right. Hey, hey Have a yes. shot, man. Have a shot, have a shot. Bye -bye. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's... Chi-bye. I knew this would happen. Hey, Remy! Remy Quantro, a hey, better give money and support, okay, fucker. <laughs> a shot is a shot, lah, bourbon, lah. Yeah, I found right. I don't know where the fucking bourbon is. I'll, I'll have that. Uh, cheeky small one, ah, okay. Uh, measure first, measure first. <laughs> Cannot see that. Okay, okay, can, can. Ah. Okay, ah. Uh, Come by, Jin Jin. Mm. This is my first ever live stream shot. I have a feeling this won't be the last. Especially, it will never be the last. Uh, especially now that I know that. You see, ah, ciao a benga. Ciao a seng la. Ah, sorry, my bad, my bad. Ciao a seng like Andrew Yap do this thing. Like very, one, very, like very, very disgraceful, I tell you. It's very disgraceful to the whole industry that you are doing shots, you know? <laughs> At least you are doing self-distancing, you know? Self-distancing. Yeah. We are following. There's so, only two so, uh, person in the venue, you see? We follow the rules. That's, that's come, good. Come to work, do work, finish, go back home. Don't go anywhere. Oh, yeah. Another message from our sponsors from Ministry of Health. Stay the fuck at home! Yeah, man. Stay at home. Say hello. That's, why doing, that's why we are doing our part to deliver the things for you guys. Yeah, anybody who is thinking of ordering cocktails, ordering food, 
call the fucking restaurant, call the fucking bar directly. Try not to use the delivery services. Venues need as much of the money for themselves at this juncture because there is no more um, direct. Starts, man. Exactly. Realistically, so what happens if folks who don't know, right? Most of the time, services like Deliveroo, Food Panda, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Grab. They take about thirty percent of yeah. the the revenue that comes in. During the time when it's normal business, when there's normal dine-in and all that stuff, it's not an amount that hurts so much. It is an addition. But at this point in time, pretty much all outlets, the only amount of money that's coming in is that. And all takeaways. That's it. Exactly. And, and the key thing is, pretty much all these venues, what we're trying to do is not to fire people. Yeah. We still have to pay rent. Our cost of goods doesn't fucking change. Right? It's the same, man. So help out. Call the fucking restaurants, visit their website, order directly as the best way you can support restaurants at this point of time. Yeah, otherwise we will be closing, 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 and up there will be only one. Me! <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the fact, right? Fuck you. That's the fact. I just, I just, I just, uh, you know, I don't know why I said that. In front of me, a cue card just came, and yep. on it was written, fuck you. So, <laughs> so I'm literally just doing that. Fuck you, Andrew. I mean, well, it's from Boita, by the way, in case you didn't know. Like, I don't want you to feel that I personally said that to you. Um, anyways, but you know me, you know. I know, uh, I know. I'm always a good boy. That's hey. what you say now. Hey, t -bye. I don't have do, do you know that my mom is watching? I love my mom. Your mom is watching again? My mom is watching again. I thought she was here. Yeah, she was there yesterday, right? She was there yesterday. You know, every time I see my mom come on board, I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. You know? And, uh, well, hi, mom. Sit, I friend. love you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Tune down a bit, love, bro. Why? <laughs> That's the time you go zip, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Um, yeah. Uh, this Always, was pretty time. awesome. Absolutely. So, uh, go and visit Old Man SG, all of their booze, have some fun. Andrea, you're a fucking champ. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Take care, Josh. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Uh, are we still on air? Hopefully, we're still on air. Boom! First interview done for the day. Folks, support the craft in this fucking country. Give love to the places that you usually visit. Order directly. Um, what shall we do now? It is... Hold on a second. So, I don't know how many of you know this crazy story. There is a fella called He Man Park who works here. This motherfucker from North Korea. I shit you not. Motherfucker, don't speak a lick of fucking English. He's the most foul mouthed, ridiculously crazy motherfuckers I know. The only reason why he still has a job? Because he makes a fucking fast busy sour. He Man Park, where are you? See? Like, I talked to him, he doesn't even answer, you know, like, probably because he can't fucking speak English. Like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Call me! See, that's pretty much... He, that was in English, wasn't it? It was probably in English, <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, him and Park understands English, but he can't speak English. You know, physical disability. But, what we're gonna do, for the next one minute, him and Park is gonna do a whiskey sour, the speed that we do here. Now, usually a spiffy whiskey sour timing is done in a way that you have to grab the glass from the fridge. You have, I'm talking. You have to grab the glass from the fridge and you have to do everything like you are in operations. But today, I want to put a challenge out to you motherfuckers who think you can do a whiskey sour. As good as us. As fast as us. 
You can put your glasses on the bar top. You can have your shakers out there. It will be easy on you. All we want to see is a sub one minute whiskey sour. So, I'm going to set up the scene for you guys. So, shake up. Glass. Lemon juice. Sugar. Sugar. We're using a big end bottle. Final order guy, you better pay me for this shit. Hey, what are you using the whiskey sour? Oh yeah, sorry. Can't look at this. Ah. We're out of bourbon, so you're gonna use Jailer's Tennessee whiskey. Fuck you. And uh egg whites. Eduardo! Without further ado, Mr. Damon Park! Oh, yeah. Alright, uh, can you see this? Tech support, can you see my fucking. The number of time? Closer? Closer? I'll hold it for you guys. Uh, okay. Let's Uh, no, 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 you, you put it there. You know, you have to make it easy for people to do this, you know? Easy, easy peasy. Hey, you're fucking up the whole story. I told everybody you can't speak English, and now you're uh, fucking no, speaking no, English. I don't know the English. It has to be here. It won't focus on that. It's okay. Alright, fine. Yeah. So apparently, Damon Park is not from Korea. Well, he's Korean, but South Korean. Um, and I, were, I was thinking of having a great fucking story, but this motherfucker is too fucking stupid to get that in the fucking head. I turn it. Yeah, I'm ready now. Okay, whatever. Losers. No. Three, two. What? Yeah, you ready? Are you You're ready? ready? I'm ready. Do you need a warm up or something? A couple of push ups? <laughs> okay, I'm done. Biscuits. Why biscuits, did he just lemon, touch me? Uh, biscuits. It's so how the greatest. Let's go, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Lemon biscuits. Lemon biscuits. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. For the sake of you people, we're not gonna do the traditional garnish. All we're gonna do is just pour it out, right? Um, and a zest. Well, we have to do a proper zest. Lemon zest is obviously important. Uh, don't worry about the lemon biscuit which we you do here. What the fuck is going on with this thing? This phone? Uh, I don't know. The phone. What's this? Is Yo, this is it's unlocked. I mean, okay, fine. Fuck this. Hi Trina! Joseph Sheen! Fucking Joseph Sheen! I studied engineering with that guy. We lived in the same room for like a year. Hello Joseph! Merthe from Norway! Fuck yeah! Awesome! Joseph Sebastian Asogen! Take home chef, isn't that your fucking Instagram handle? How you doing baby? You still have a job? I don't know, I love you. Um, Alright fine, what's going on? All right. Okay, I don't even know. Three, two, one. Oh, Hong Kong. Very fast. Oh, so fast. So fast. That's oh. what she said. <laughs> I oh. know. <laughs> Seconds. Come on, you're getting slow, Damon. SVV split bar, split bar, time, So noisy. Three, two, one, go. Forty-one point five eight. Okay, forty-one. Oh, shit, bro. This, this shit. guy is shame. Slow. Shame. Slow. 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 Yeah, 41. Wait, 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 shit. don't. Uh, let me test. No, you, you, you cut the lemon. Yeah, you cut the lemon. Yeah, I cut the lemon. Yeah, it's, to be it's a good whiskey sour. No, I don't want. You made. Yeah. Should be 37 seconds. You cut the lemon. Alright. That's the biggest. Let daddy show you. Hey, ah. so, here's where I'm gonna make a whiskey sour. And either I'm gonna be slower and I'm gonna fucking. Be the shame of my family, 
Or I'm gonna show this little punk ass kid how it's done. My grandma can beat you. Oh, uh, fuck off, Tristan. Anybody's farther than your, faster than your ass. All right. F and B world, bar world, whiskey sour, sub forty five second challenge. Fuck you. Who's the timer? What's going on? Who's the timer? Oh, who's doing timing? I do. I do. <laughs> no cheating. North Koreans are very fucking famous for cheating. Ha! Oh, you go. <laughs> Never trust these motherfuckers. Can everybody see this? Is it real? Yo, you gotta you gotta warn me, man. Hey, thanks, Joseph, for the love. I appreciate the love. Appreciate the trust. Boom, shakalaka. Okay, you ready? Okay, three, two, two one. Uh oh. talking about? Use the flip side No, I did not. Is it? Check your fucking feet, dickhead. 38 seconds. Oh. Oh, yes. If you don't know, Swiffy Dapper is releasing cocktail kits. You can get them on fnb.com.sg Look for the fucking cocktail click icon Click icon? What the fuck? Yeah. Hit Nicky Image bio. link thing going on Bjorn, welcome back to the show! See me! Bjorn! Welcome to the show, baby! I'm gonna be talking to you in a very short while But in the meantime Drink me whiskey sours Yo, see me! Send me a whiskey sour video, baby. Show me how fast you can make a fucking whiskey sour. I'm at 38 seconds right now. That's probably one of my faster timings. Wait, wait, no. That's one of my slower timings, cause... No, it's best is. No, bitch, I usually take it from the fridge. And then I end up about 38, 40. So here's the story of this whiskey sour thing. Uh, what was it? Loris Lee, what up, baby? Good to see ya. Are you still fast? You're probably not, bitch. You're <laughs> probably slow as fuck right now. Ever since you left Spiffy. Fuck you too. Alright, so we started the Whiskey Sour Challenge about a year ago. I think with Lee and Prasad. Hey, seaweed! Seaweed, go up to Oriental Elixir. Just tell the Burks people that I said okay. Tell the Burks people I said okay, go up to OE. Film that fucking whiskey sour and put me to shame, baby. Put me to shame. Well, I don't have any fucking egg white up there because we cleared all the perishables from OE. So you gotta go ahead and figure that out yourself. So anyways, uh, what was I? So about a year ago, or two years ago, something like that, I told the motherfuckers, the time for a whiskey sour spiffy dapper is one fucking minute. And everybody's like, hey, we are, we are, fuck you, George, it's not possible. Then I do like, 50 seconds. <gasps> George, that's crazy. Awesome. <laughs> Fast forward one year, these bitches are making whiskey sours like 35 seconds, and I'm like, what the fuck? I can't keep up with these fucking retards no more. Anyways, that's how this whole whiskey sour challenge came back. If you motherfuckers fast, show me a video about your whiskey sours. Where are we now? Santisati Murti, aka Rebecca Samuel, welcome to the stream. Mm. This is probably the most. Andrea has messaged me. I will be at Spiffy for another. 
What do you got? Until 8 o'clock or something like bro. Andrea, are you seeing? You have to watch the stream to get my answer. Um, okay. What do we do now? Oh, yes. This is cool. So, everybody's doing bottle cocktails and stuff like that. Oh, we thought about it. But because we're spiffy and because we don't like doing a lot of work, we want you to do the fucking work at home. That's right. Think of it as a self-development class for yourself. You know what we need to know? We need like a, one of those numbers like, call now to get your deal. Ah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like on late night TV. And we're like, yeah! Just like, yo! What? That was a bit underwhelming, wasn't it? So like, if some fucking unicorns or something jumped out of that, would be fucking funny. All right, anyways. Don't take my shit. Fuck off. Jared Lua, welcome to the stream, baby. Hey, Jared, we have sound today. How cool is that? With no feedback. Fuck yeah, baby. All right, so this is the idea of Spiffy's cocktail kits. They have two kits. One is the shaken kit. One is the start kit. Ooh, nasty. So we got the start kits for shit like uh, Manhattans and uh, Negronis and the uh, old fashioned and the uh, martini, etc., etc., etc. The shaken stuff, um, I don't know yet. They haven't briefed me yet. It's one of those things I didn't make, you know, like. These days, I don't actually do the work. I tell people to do things. It's so cool, man. You guys should try it. Like, not working. I actually do it all the fucking time now. Anyway, so let's let's un unpack this fucker. You got... Rye whiskey. Sweet vermouth. Rosemary Campari. All right, I don't know what the fuck that is. Bourbon. Cognac! Gin! Brown sugar! Brown sugar! Dry vermouth! Ang Angos to rabbiters! Pate shorts, absinthe. <laughs> Can you guys even see it? Anyways. Oh, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. See, how many can I put in one? <laughs> Promotions 101. You do like how the, the makeup tutorials, they, they do this. Oh. How big are Georgie's hands? Oh my god. Not a good idea. Oh, I know it's not a good idea, but it's a fun idea. You get all these bottles! But the catch is they're not all full. We just made the fucking bottles big so we can fool you, motherfuckers. <laughs> but, but, the cool thing is you can make cocktails at home. Heeman Park, what are you talking? Oh, yeah, yeah, Himan Park is just sending a link. Alright, thanks, Himan Park. So, how many total of drinks you can do with the kit? Oh, yes, uh, we can make a total of 15 drinks with this shit. And we're gonna. Alright. And we're gonna do some basics. We're gonna teach you how to use this kit at home. So you can make cocktails for yourself and convince yourself that you're a great bartender while giving me money. The important thing is you're giving me money. Think about it. Money. Alrighty. The keystone of every cocktail. Clean hands. For any stirred cocktail, you need a vessel to stir things in. Now today we're going to do it the exact unhygienic way you're going to do it at home. You're going to take a glass. Laurel, you what a long time no see! Are we gonna make the simplest fucking drink ever known to man? 
the drink that they all fuck up all the fucking time. The Negroni. Fuck you, Damon. Sorry. He's not sorry. Do you know what he's doing when he does that? He fucking does it with like the smile. <laughs> kind of fucking smile. Asteria Poe, welcome to the fucking stream. A Negroni is very fucking same simple. Jin. Where's fucking sweet vermouth? Sweet vermouth. Campari! Alright, this version has fucking rosemary inside infused into it. You don't have to fucking use that. Laura's lame, I miss you too, you bastard! Alright. Gin, everybody knows. If you don't know gin, you know, really a bit fucking sad, yeah? Now, the key to a Negroni is very fucking simple, yeah? Equal fucking parts of three fucking things. The reason why Negronis are usually shit is because. People do not respect their fucking vermouth. And you're thinking, what's so special about vermouth? Huh? Vermouth. You must have seen Martini Rosso, Martini Bianco, all this fucking shit sitting on back shelves of bar, and these fucking nincompoop bartenders don't know how to do with it. You know the worst fucking thing? These motherfuckers even don't put in a fucking fridge, they put a fucking speed pour on this fucking thing. Imagine taking a bottle of wine letting it sit on your fucking table for like 10 days and try and drink it, it's gonna taste like shit. The same thing with fucking vermouth. Vermouth is effectively fortified wine. It basically means that they're gonna put a lot of fucking spices and a little extra booze into fucking wine, and that's it. And vermouth has gotta be treated with love and affection, man. You can't just put the fucker out on the fucking table. If you have vermouth at home, put it in your motherfucking fridge! Lesson for the day. Woo! Vermouth forever. I'm, I'm a big lover of Oval Man. Sipping some vermouth on the rocks on a fucking hot afternoon. Best fucking thing ever. So, vermouth is a cornerstone of a fucking Negroni. Everything else can go to hell. But vermouth is it. Some of the best vermouths you can get, like if you're having like super heavy gins, like Carpana Antica Formula. What we're doing here is a house infusion vermouth. So, we actually make the fucking vermouth. And speaking fucking done. Bet you didn't know that, motherfuckers. So this is a house vermouth that we do. It's a house sweet vermouth that we do. That's what you're gonna get shipped. Yeah. Literally, you can find any receptacle. Just make sure it's the same. same. Right. I'm gonna use this for measure. Yeah, equal parts. Done. That's the vermouth right there. As a gin, equal parts. I put a little bit extra. <laughs> Extra gin in any Negroni is very acceptable. <laughs> Everything else, not so much. But don't make it like extra la, like two times or whatever. Like, don't be a fucking border with Kampeng. Kampeng? Kampeng. Sorry. My singlet? Singlet. What the fuck? Singlish. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Singlet? That is cool. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's like. How do you say, ah? Uh, fancy singlish. Singlet. Singlet. Oh. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Here's Campari. Did you know the color in Campari back in the day used to come from crushed fucking beetles? Cochineal beetles. That is what gave it that ridiculously fucking red color. But these days, not so much. Thank you, Asteria Boy. Jamie, welcome to the fucking stream. Jamie, go! Brass Lion fucking distillery on the stream. What up, what up? Hey, Lotus Lee, why you like scroll on the stream and motherfucker? Kobe, take us down. We need you, George. Yes! Alright! Here's a great thing with Negronis, man. I have three fucking things in there, that's it. Now here's how you make a masterpiece Negroni. Done. The one and only finger star. Hey, Colin. You can also try drinking it while you're doing it. It's a good fucking drink. Negroni! Easy piece of Japanese, Italian easy! 
full of COVID-19, not this one. Italians, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take that lightly, dude, Italians, sorry for you guys. We really should have seen the fucker coming from China to say it. Oh, good lord. Good fucking drink! One of the many combinations you can make! With the cocktail kit that we sell. Ha ha ha, get it from fmb.com.sg And now we shall drink more Negroni. One of the easiest drinks you can make. Most important thing in life, make love to your vermouth. Do not treat vermouth like you treat your children, or your grandparents, or your parents, or your spouse. Treat it like you would treat a fucking puppy, with love and affection. Not like you treat human beings, but how you treat them. Nobody treats cats with love. Who the fuck treats cats with love? Fine, whatever. Negroni 101, you can get this fucking kit on fb.com.st. I love this shit. I'm definitely gonna have a sore throat by the end time of this fucking stream. We will talk about more cocktails that we can do with the cocktail kit that we sell. Oh my god, I'm really whoring myself today. Well, I'm always whoring myself every day for some reason or the other. Or might as well do it for a noble cause, like survival. Check that out. Alright, I think that's that. Response. I don't have anything else to talk about. Action Chavala, you are tuning in late to the fucking stream, motherfucker. How you been? Sam Wong, hello, Kid Sunday. Hey, oh, Kid, yo, where's the fucking hat? I need the hat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid, I got your fucking hat, baby. I'm away on the stream. Come here. So. <laughs> Viking. <laughs> fucking champion streaming. Fucking Kid Sunday, thank you for the fucking hat. Kenny Maguire, my favorite fucking. Hey, Kenny, are you Scot or Irish? Always fucking figure, always fucking confuse that shit. But Kenny is a fucking legend. I love you, Kenny. Oh, Kit says hi! Wait, that didn't work. Sorry, Kit. Thank you, Bjorn. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love. I've truly run out of shit to say, and I'm getting kind of drunk. Kashmira, what up, what up? Welcome to the fucking stream. What are we gonna do now? Five minute break. So folks are saying that I should take a break, but instead this is what I'm gonna do. Call me a monkey, man, Kenny. Fuck you, Kenny. I'm just sitting here having a fucking Negroni in peace. Fuck me. But I want to like freak you guys out by just looking at the camera for a while. But like, it turns out I'm in love with modern boys. <laughs> While we are at it, let's take this opportunity to pimp our sponsors, Spiffy Dapper. And let's take an opportunity to pimp our sponsors. Truly revolutionary product where we give you booze that you can make at home yourself and pay us money for it. Fucking champion. And the new cocktail that you can make with it. The one, the only old fashioned. Now, if you have never made a good old fashioned before, I understand, it's because you're a fucking shithead. The basic principle in old fashioned is very fucking simple. You use bourbon whiskey. 
put a little bit of fucking sugar in there and some bitters to it. That's it. I don't know, you must have seen. Oh, hey, guys, Kenny is Scottish. Converse, uh, confirmation. Uh, Kenny, we can't do Zoom. Our program only does Skype, you know. And Zoom is not secure. Pedophiles can watch you, Kenny. And that's not good for you. Wait, that was supposed to be like a cool thing where like it lands straight, but it did not. So, do not throw glasses. Old fashions are very fucking simple, yeah? You must have seen this fucking John Hamm version in Mad Men, where the motherfucker is like, he like jumps over a bar counter, takes Angus Tear bitters over a sugar cube, crushes with the fucking orange and puts soda in the fucking old fashioned. That is a fucking shit recipe. The classic fucking old fashioned is the simplest fucking drink in the world. The reason why old fashioned suck is because people are fucking idiots. This is how we make a fucking old fashioned. I'm sorry. You take a bit of bourbon, yeah? You take about 45 mil. This is a 45 mil bourbon, 45, 50, 60, whatever, it doesn't matter. 45 mils. You check that fucker in there. Look at that. Beautiful booze. And here's the most important thing with sugar, man. Don't overdo it. Would you do? Let's put a bar spoon. FYI, this is two and a half to three milliliters. So your five milliliter count is way too much. If you put too much fucking sugar in your fucking old fashioned, it's gonna take like fucking sugar. Not like a fucking old fashioned. You ninkum poop. Two and a half, right there. I understand that you might be poor and you don't have money to buy a bar spoon. Use half a fucking teaspoon. Next thing, bitters, Angostura bitters, orange bitters, whatever the flying bitters. In bitters, if you remember any fucking bitters bottle, they make the fucking hole in the bitters bottle very fucking big. They be like, Psh! so a lot of fucking bitters come on. You don't need a lot of fucking bitters. You need a couple of drops of fucking bitters, yeah? We have a little dropper bottle because we understand that you might have uh, problems. And you know, we, you can use that like one, Two, three, four, five. That's okay, that's fine, you know. And so that's a reasonable amount. As always, eyes and a finger stir is all you need to make a good fucking old fashioned. The key in an old fashioned, look at that, one handed finger stir, check that out. Yeah. Skills pay bills. Hashtag monkey shoulder. Hashtag no monkey shoulders were hound harmed in the production of this old fashioned. <laughs> Anyways, an old fashioned is best made by giving respect to your ratios. The key ratio is not too much fucking sugar. Yeah. Om Shanti Sharanamayapa. That's a good fucking old fashioned. Never put soda in a fucking old fashioned, you fucking retard! And if you're gonna have cherries in your old fashioned, do not, for the love of fucking Jesus Christ. Alright, fine. COVID 19, put red candied American cherries. They have no place in a fucking cocktail. Zero. Zero. Zero candied red cherries in your fucking old fashioned. If this is all you can do, that is all you fucking need to do. But just because I'm a great dude, I am feeling in a very, so what, generous mode. I'm gonna teach you how to zest something. Take a fucking orange! Take a fucking knife. Cut like a little circle out of that leg. My little mother. This is all you do. Put that or inside down. Fucking done. That's it. I have a cue card coming. Give me a second. Actually, five minutes so I can read a cue card.
what is your favorite bourbon for oil fam old old fashioned oh sorry that was acronym for oil fam is acronym for old fashioned thank you very much Steve. appreciate it leo motherfucking leo man motherfucking leo hey look at me man i'm pimping your booze i don't know why i'm pimping your booze I ain't paying me money to pay me a booze, motherfucker. You ain't paying me no motherfucking money to pay me a booze, motherfucker. You pay me some money right now. <laughs> Poor Leo. He just came to watch a fucking stream. Hi, Leo. Kid Sunday. I would love to watch you fingering things as well. Would you never let me in the party, Sonny? I'm very sad. <laughs> <laughs> Mohamed Rosale! Boom! How's Atlas doing? Still open? I know it's not. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 they asked the question. What's my favorite bourbon? Hey, Leo, it's time for you to put up the money. If you put up the money right now, I'm going to say wild turkey right now. <laughs> As you know, I'm a man with a lot of integrity. <laughs> the fact that I am wearing this fucking ridiculous hat has nothing to do with my integrity. Thanks, kid. I love you, kid. And we are on YouTube. Hey, man. Pretty much all bourbons work. Really. Except Jim Beam. God. Ugh. That's just wild shit crap. No Jim Beam. Yeah. I think I could work with pretty much everything else. Actually, realistically, an old fashioned is not like. You don't have to have a fucking bourbon for it, you know? You can, you can make it with fucking tequila, man. You can make it with a little bit of cognac. Uh, cognac. Uh, cognac. Uh, you can also make it with uh, rum if you want to. Really, old fashions are fucking a drink for all seasons. All you gotta do is take one part of booze, one twentieth in sugar, and a dash of bitters. I think that math is right. Forty-five. Yeah, about there. One part of booze, a twentieth in sugar, and a dash of booze. Crystal say good morning. Yes. Kid, I'ma take this fucking hat off. It's very hot. Thank you. I'm now gonna take a break. Take the part! It is time to change our screen.
Motherfuckers! Welcome to the fucking stream! Matt Julo, what, what? Long time no see, man. Are you even fucking alive? Which fucking country do you live in these days? Adulam, love you, brother. George Carola, haven't seen you in fucking ages. Moko, boom! Thanks for that fucking website. Hey, asshole, I'm not on the fucking website. Rachel Ling, welcome to the fucking stream. Yet another day of the circuit breaker sessions. The insufferable George is your fucking host, and you fucking retarded fuckers are watching. <laughs> Don't you have a life? Don't you have any other place to fucking go to? Fuck all of you. We're doing this thing because we ain't got nothing else to do. Oh my god. We have another what, 26 fucking days of this shit? Fuck me. Every day. Except this Sunday, because boys need some rest. We're going to be live, and we're going to be talking shit. We had a great chat with Andrew from Old Man. Now we're going to talk to same fucking seaweed. Yet another Old Man from the Singapore Food and Beverage Business. Old Man, what up, baby? Yo, where's my fucking thing thing? Yeah, thank you. Okay, switch it and... I got my think think seaweed. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I love you too, Rachel. What what? Yo, seaweed. How's it going? Okay, the sound alright. We can hear you. Can everybody hear seaweed? Okay. Is seaweed okay on the stream? Please give me a confirmation by the comments. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. Seaweed. Hello, say give, say like some swear words for testing. Uh, fuck George. <laughs> Gee, bye. <laughs> wow, come on, baby. Come on, you can do a good better than that. I'm hey, stream. Up. Hey, stream, are we okay? Is the sound all right? Yeah. All right, fuck it. We're going we, we're gonna to go on the assumption that we can hear what the fuck is going on. CV, baby, I haven't... Wait, I have seen you two days ago, two days ago. Right? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was about to say I haven't seen you in fucking ages, then I realized it's a lie. I lie all the fucking time, but I don't want to lie <laughs> to your face, you know, like... Even though it's like on Skype face, but it's still your face. But never mind. Yes, right. yes. Yo, uh, seaweed, for the folks who don't fucking know you, who the fuck are you and what the fuck do you do? Hey, I'm Sim. I'm currently with SM Drink Store, which is located in Haji Lane now. That's it? That's it. Why the so fuck are you called seaweed? I'm called seaweed. Uh, so, first I like to eat seaweed. And my name is Si Wei, which is SW. So you, you yeah. made that name for the white people and, and for the brown people who can't do the Chinese thing? <laughs> yes, it's easier for everyone. <laughs> it is. For folks who don't know, my actual name is Abhishek Cherry and George. I first came oh, really? to really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so my first name is Abhishek, right? I came here to Polly and I'm like, oh, uh, what's your name? Uh, Abhishek Charlie George. And the uh, uh, child begged me, like, ah, what? Uh? <laughs> I'm like, never mind, uh, bro, call me George Cat, okay. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Uh, the only person who calls me Abhishek is my mother. Hey, mom, she's probably on the street. Uh, Hi. And <laughs> yeah, but when she calls me Abhishek, I'm like, uh, what? And she also usually only calls me Abhishek when she's like, Fucking mad at me, you know. Yeah, but they're in trouble, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm Shake Cherry and George, you stop it right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, sorry, mom. I'm, I'm so no, glad mom. that she's in India. I'm here because if I'm doing this thing, live streaming and cursing on live stream, like I'm doing right now, and she was here, she would run after me with a fucking cane and beat my fucking ass down. But she can't. That would be an amazing stream. That, that, that would be an amazing stream. That would be a funny stream. <laughs> So my mom is in India, feeling very fucking angry, and I, I have a feeling that one of these days when I get back, she's just gonna fucking run me around the fucking block and just, just beat my fucking ass down. I don't know, with some, with some slippers or something, you know. Make sure you stream it, yeah? <laughs> yeah. You will love to watch it. You're probably gonna record highest view. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, 
I see you. When was the first time I met you? SMs, right? Yes, SMs. Yep. Uh, so you in SMs, Atlas, Fernet, and back to SMs. Yes, correct. Wow. Okay. So, what happened? Where were you before SMs? So okay, so I started off. Uh, I was working in a bank, HSBC. Fuck off. For around uh, ten years, you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, See, we the banker, <laughs> the lying one. <laughs> but yeah, so I I was working part time in places like the library. Uh, everyone knows library from Kamsia. Yeah. That was when I started my first time working in a cocktail bar. Yep. Then I was there for a year and a half, and then I joined Lake Lawn for a year, I think. That was with Louis and Johan. Ooh. And, and, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. And I left. I joined uh, Asens. I was a uh, while well in Nutmeg and Clove, and then back to Asens. But this is all uh, part timing, so I was dual rolling. So basically, so you were well, still a banker both. while you were bartending. Both. I was doing both. Wow. So I was doing nine to six and seven to really late. Which? Wow, you had such a great life. It's the best thing I've ever done, man. It, well, it is the perfect well, I, I, I was actually being sarcastic, but okay. It is the good life. <laughs> it is the good life. Just, it is the best balance, you know. You know, uh, at a bank, you see all the douchebags. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bosses. And, you know, when you are at a bar, you see real people. Hey. You see real people. People like you, people like all the guests, all the regulars. Hey, and see, you give friends. me a fucking compliment. How about that? <laughs> That's and, a and new one. And you can see now uh, the industry is really close. Mm -hmm. This will not happen in the corporate world. Uh, everyone's helping out each other, sharing posts, uh, collaborating here and there. I think that is something that that, that makes the industry very different. And yeah. I'm, I'm fucking glad I'm in this. Even yeah. though now most of us are struggling, but you know we know that we all, we are we're in this together. So yeah, totally, I'm, I'm man. fucking happy. So just to give a little bit of background, yeah, a couple of shout outs. Big shout out to Goi. Celia from Celia Michael from Barbary Coast, a lot of other folks, man, uh, who's been really helping out with the conversations, clarifying things, helping other people in the business, kind of just get a better idea. Ichin from Jekyll and Hyde, got a bar yep. on SG side doing gift vouchers. Uh, Ivy, Food News, aka Singapore Cocktail Week. Moses fucking go with this fucking website. I mean, there's so much love going on in the business right now. I appreciate yes. you guys. Yes. Keep doing what you're doing. It helps. Thank you. Thank you guys. Really, really appreciate all this, uh, all this, all this help uh, around. Like uh, Koi started, uh, how how our business can still run, and also um, she's doing up like, assistance for the staff to go for training and things like that. I think that's amazing. Awesome, man. Yeah. So you were at Assam, and you went to Atlas. Yes, I was at Atlas for two years exactly. Three years? Two years. Wow. Has Atlas been anyway, that long? Speaking about Atlas, <laughs> speaking about Atlas, let me get a martini. Alright. Q. Empty screen. Yo! And re in the house. So like I said, the industry is amazing. Nadine from Atlas gave me a bottle of martini. Alright. Shout out to Atlas. Hey man, this is oh. this is one of the cool things I really appreciate about the business here. The fact that uh, a lot of us come from different experiences, different places have given us the training to be what we are now, uh, and it and it's very cool that the folks in the business keep uh, like the relationships are not you know like it's it's, it's not instant. It, it happens over time. We are keeping those relationships, and the love is real, man. So. I really appreciate that about the fucking business. That's pretty fucking awesome. It is. Everyone is have been amazing, uh, supportive. Uh, you are one of the first people who caught uh, to actually ask how we are doing. So I really appreciate that. Oh really? Yeah. You're, the, just, old, you're the first person who caught. I was a selfish and I just want to find about the licensing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think, I, I think we all want to know that. So like in, in this whole situation, uh, a lot of information are shared. So. For me, I'm taking a step back and just watching what's happening, yeah. and sort of learning and sort of adapting to the business model, and see how far we can go and 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 push on, you know. Yeah, absolutely. 
I mean, the, the fucking virus will fucking pass on, you know, but we're gonna, we're gonna stick around. Yo, a uh, couple of quick high fives, William Pravda, what, what, haven't seen your fucking white face in a long time. Conan Pillay, Conan oh, Pillay, man, that motherfucker, Mumbai to, Mumbai to Singapore, is that your website, whatever the fuck it is? They are delivering biryani, check out Flying Monkey on the oh, fucking nice. interwebs. Conan Pillay himself will give you the fucking biryani to your fucking house. They also do other great Indian food as well. My job, welcome, Taha, welcome. What, what, what? So, Siri, uh, how did the whole journey from Atlas back to Assam's happen? Uh, I mean, Atlas was amazing uh, for me. It's not a PCR and stuff. I really still love Atlas a lot. The people mm -hmm. there and the whole whole Atlas story, you know, I love it. Uh, but for me, I always want to adventure into owning my own business. So yep. Atlas is a dream. It's for me a fantasy, I would say. It's not even possible to happen. So I wanted to really see how a smaller organization works. Mm -hmm. uh, Cafe Fener was amazing. I learned a lot from Koi, Indra, Aki, and also the team uh, about uh, running a business and also the systems, which I think I learned so much about systems from uh, the Japanese group and also uh, discipline. I think uh, the system creates a bit of discipline, and I think that is very important in business. Without that, I explain think, that a little bit. Um, how do I put it? Uh, you know, a place a bar can just be rent like that. You know, without uh, hate running it, mm -hmm. so it can just go on and on because it's it's, it's about human being, right? But at the same time, uh, there's no back end to watch out on things like costing, uh, scheduling, um, uh, how do I, what else, um, and, and things like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Off my mind, I just can't pick it up. I think that's really important. I think it also gives a structure to the team. Mm -hmm. uh, they have something to look forward to, uh, like training, which I think, uh, and, and meetings. Uh, monthly meetings are really important, which is something I really pick up from uh, Japan Pony. They have cow horse. Um, and, and things like that, which I think helps a lot in the team. So that everyone is updated and know what the fuck is going on, right? Yeah, give me a second. I'm going to grab beer. Sure. Well, hold on. Yeah. I'm going to take this fucking thing off. Sorry, need a lubrication. Nice. What are you having? Shota! It's uh, my own little brand that nice. I did last year, you know? Because fuck it. <laughs> Yo, so, so tell me, uh, what were you? We were at Systems, you know? So it helped a lot uh, by, uh, with that. I learned mm -hmm. a lot. I went back to Asian Grocery Store, uh, set up a bit of system there. It, it helped. And also the power of marketing, because I realized marketing uh, really brings the crowd. Yeah. It is the music that brings the voice today. Yeah. So uh, it, it really makes a difference within like a, a month or two uh, with a bit of more social uh, media exposure. Yeah. Uh, we actually get more people coming in, actually come in to, to, to look at our place. And we were very lucky. Uh, I would say we are very lucky because we do get. Uh, a few celebrities coming in. We got a Try Guys that came in. Uh, we got Naomi, you Neo, know, and a couple of people that helped a little bit. I think. Uh, I think. I think that is luck. That's pretty uh, cool, man. Yeah, which we really appreciate, especially the Try Guys. You know, we they, we we really I, I spotted them on the street actually. No fucking uh, way! I thought that was that, like a long ass planned PR campaign. No, actually, I just saw them eating uh, nasi biryani and prata at uh, uh, banana leaf. <laughs> Ah, so nice. I went over, say hi, chat up with them, and then after that, they say they're looking for drinks. So I was like, sure, come to the bar. So we had them have drinks, and they took some videos, and we were very lucky videos. Uh, they got three, over 3 million views for that video. Oh, nice. SM Cold Drink Store, Fame across the world. Hey, Julian okay, Nicolet is baby. fucking watching. Hey, Julian. You're a terrible fucking person. Just wanted to say that to your face. All right, Good. CV, continue. Yeah, yeah. So I think that helped a lot in, in the whole business structure, mm -hmm. uh, marketing, constantly creating content. Yeah. Uh, which are still trying to do very hard now, especially in uh, this Haji Lane and this situation. Yeah. Uh, it's about getting exposure. It's very saturated. Everyone is doing their own thing. We also try to push it a bit more unique, and and. and 
talk to the people you don't talk to regulars it always comes to uh, your own bar uh, relate to them make them come back to you uh, get recurring recurring business yeah totally. collaborating with people so we are collaborating we're going to collab with uh, nutmeg and clove they'll be listing their uh, bottled cocktails over here nice and having that team over here i think uh, it's really sharing the love uh, there's nothing no loss to me you know i i, I see it as all gain because you can do cross marketing totally, uh, totally. i'm gonna have someone with me here uh, if not, I'll be bored to death and go crazy. Well, it's just yeah. you. Me and um, one of my uh, staff, and staff, she's here to help out as well. Yeah, but most of the time, I, I'll be alone because I'll control the cost a little bit. Yes. Awesome, man. Yeah. Um, good. I had like a train of thought which I completely just fucking forgot. Okay, have a beer, you remember. Thank you, Mr. Shut up. Have a beer or a shot, you remember. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, so what, so from what I understand, you guys are moving from uh, Boat Key to Haji Lake. Is that yes. a permanent thing? Boat Key will be closed permanently. Oh, Very okay. unfortunately, but yes, we'll be closed permanently. Uh, we'll be, I, at Haji Lake, I will see it more as a pop-up okay. for the time being. And uh, we see how things work because there's so much uncertainty now. Yeah. Uh, I, I will not want to give a firm answer or firm, um, uh, response to anything. You know, you will know how long your this will last. Uh, let's hope this uh, takeaway and delivery uh, can push a little bit more uh, to help with income. Uh, you know, for survivability. You know. Totally, totally. Uh, FYI, everybody, Simsy Wade, where do we find your stuff on the interwebs? We are on. Uh, you can do pre-orders from ASEAN Cold Drink Store website, ASEANColdDrinkStore.com or you can go to www.goodluckbeerhouse.com slash shop. Fuck we yeah, pre- we have both of those links on the fucking stream right now. Big thanks to Marian Placido. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, we do food as well. So the usual favorites, the Hachong Kai, Shoot Place Chicken, the Hokkien yep. Mee are all available. So yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, you, you guys doing your delivery and stuff like that or it's, it's directly on the Have website? You, purely on the website at the moment, we are still working to work with Grab on this. So Good Luck Beer House uh, has very kindly worked with us on this. Yeah. Uh, and also other establishments in uh, Haji Lane. So Berg and also uh, Blanco Prawn Noodles are also on there. So you can actually order food, uh, different kind of food. You can order Prawn Mi, uh, Takwe Tiao and a burger back home for your yeah, so, so you guys are all kind of working together as a, as a group delivery thing? Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty sweet, man. Yeah. So, folks who don't know, Shabazz, welcome to the stream. Joseph, hello, hello. So, folks who don't know, Spiffy used to be in fucking Boat Key. 61 Boat Key on the second floor was Spiffy's first location. It was a fucking shithole. Love that shithole. Yeah. Shit. I-, I loved it, but it was, it, was a ter- <laughs> it was a terrible fucking venue, man. <laughs> Everything yep. was fucking second hand. It was just a janky ass place. Uh, that's where Spiffy first started. And uh, Assam started, Assam, the, Assam used to be a coffee place, if I'm not wrong. Uh, you, you got 60, right? 60, yeah, just beside 60, you. 60, yeah. So it was like yeah. next beside us on the second floor. So this is 2013. Assam was end 2013, mid 2013. August 2013. Yeah, so mid 2013 is Assam's, early 2013 is when Spiffy starts. So it, it's pretty crazy. Assam and uh, Spiffy and Bitter, Jigger, 28. These are some of the older people in the fucking cocktail bar business in the country at this point in time. And yes. it's pretty nuts that it's 2013. It was only six years ago, you know. And mm. from that time, the cocktail bar, the cocktail industry has just gone like fucking nuts. I remember the first cocktail festival. It's called Cocktail Week back in the day. Yeah. Um, and Pauline was coming about and said, hey, we're doing this Cocktail Week thing. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. I was like, what, 10, 10, 10 15 bars or, something, or less or something like that. And now Cocktail Fest is like, fucking, oh my fucking God, 50, 60 bars. You know, like it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's pretty crazy that the level of craft in the, in, the, in the city has grown so high and it's getting like really, really fucking cool. It's amazing. Uh, I think this is only this only could happen because of the community. Yep, totally. Uh, the, without the community, I think we'll just be 
you know, Singapore, we are a small little island with a community, we are strong, we come together, you know, um, and I really feel like a few people that I, w- I wish to shout out to, 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 to really, that really, in my opinion, help to bond the, the industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, people like Jay Gray and also, who is that? Zach. Who's that, Zach? <laughs> Zach. Zach. Zach Digit. Is that the one? Yeah. So I think they really have to bond the, uh, the, 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 how do I say, uh, the two different groups. You know, we have the expats and we have the locals. Yeah. I think yeah. There, there has been a, uh, a, a, a divide. True, I think true. they really help to keep this bond together. Uh, Zach, especially, you know, he has always uh, encar- uh, encouraged local bartenders and also he's the bridge, you know, between the expats and the local bartender. He bring bring us together in events, especially when he was in Monkey Shoulder. Yeah. In events. And same thing likewise with Jay Gray, he did a lot of that as well, which I think is amazing. And, and that is how this industry can grow so much, you know. Uh, we are a small little city, uh, we have seen only that much, you know, with um, people around the world coming here. We yeah. learn more and we, we begin to actually, um, you know, combine with them, uh, do good work together to help Singapore between what we are now. Totally. Yo, Zach, Jay, thank you very much. Hey, Chiba, you, you almost feel like Monkey Shoulder paying you money. Yeah, how come only two Monkey Shoulder ambassador you talking? All the other ambassador nothing. Like. In my opinion, but that started out this trend, you know, where uh, <laughs> ambassadors are very close. If, if you look at this now, uh, you know, every time I see an event, uh, one of the events I saw very recently, uh, other other uh, brand ambassador came along, which is amazing, which you don't really see around the world. You know, they were like, oh, I can't, uh, if you are from Puerto Rico, I can't go to um, uh, WGS event. But in Singapore, uh, I've seen people from WGS going to Puerto Rico event and vice versa, which I think that is what keeps this place, uh, this Singapore going. Mm-hmm. True, true. And yeah. like, it's, it, it, like uh, Sim said, in, in Singapore, it's... Um it's an interesting place because the community is so small and the level of craft has become so high very fast the folks i think it's been pretty awesome like the folks who are actually fronting the brands have been craft bartenders so they're bartenders first before they become brand reps and that's been pretty cool so the community in singapore has been pretty tight i mean we have our little beach fests and all that stuff and, you know every fucking sure. community has that but I think overall, especially during this time, I've just been like super encouraged by the fact that um, f- folks are really trying to just help each other survive and get through this thing, you know. And, and that's uh, and regardless of brand affiliation or whatever the fuck not. Um, and that's something I've seen very clearly across the board. Um, also from big brands, uh, you know, groups that have multiple bars or restaurants to uh, independent owners. Uh, folks are really communicating and figuring out how to get better and how to sustain each other better. And that's that's uh, that, that's pretty special. Um, I, I talk to folks in other countries and a lot of the scenes are very ultra competitive and kind of bitchy. And like, it, it, it kind of works to the detriment of everybody, but uh, I think in Singapore that doesn't work like that, and that's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, it's also because, like, what I know, one thing that we like to do in our central Green store, I believe a lot of other bars as well, is when we have a guest that loves to go to cocktail bars, we recommend them places, and and I see that from other bars as well. I think that is what that, that is amazing. Yeah. So uh, I'll go see what they like. For example, if they like something a bit more classy, atas, Manhattan. And, Atlas, uh, Barbricos and places like that. So we were sort of you know, see what is their style like and we sort of recommend places for them to go. And and guests appreciate that. Because I think the experience is not just about being in this one bar. Yeah. I think the experience, this Singapore is so small, right? It's the experience being in Singapore. So they get to explore different bars and, and have a warm welcome. So usually what we do is like, oh, if you go to, say, um, Barbricos, look for Roman, yep. look for, go to the 8, look for Ronan, you know, uh, Things like that, you know. So I, I think that helps a lot because it's a warm welcome. When someone goes there, immediately they feel welcome. They yeah, don't have totally. to feel like intimidated to go in. They're like, oh yes, I know someone there. I'm gonna have a great time there. And usually the bartenders are like, you know, a little short, a little welcome, a little high, a little bit more attention to them. I think that makes this whole experience the Singapore experience. Totally, man. I actually remember like I was in Melbourne recently and went to a couple of places and 
even though I've heard of these places, uh, uh, my mistake, I didn't like go with introductions or whatever. And it was as a visitor to the country, even though I, I know some of these places, having that warm introduction makes a big fucking difference in the experience um, in a place where you don't have a lot of friends. And I think one of the big reasons why, uh, you know, folks like going to bars is the conversation, the, uh, the, the human connection, you know. Yeah. I mean, anybody yeah. can make a fucking Necroni at home. And yeah, most, exactly. There are, there are many people that we serve that make better martinis than us. Yeah, um, the way that they want it, right? Um, but I think the reason why folks come around is to have human connection uh, and, and to be part of that community. I, I think, yeah, totally, man. Just, just that warm, warm welcomes and that connection is so super fucking important. Yeah, that's what I always tell my team as well, you know. Um, it's never about the great. Anyone can make a great martini. But yeah. if you are if you're douchebag with the gas, whatever martini you make, it's gonna be just a martini, you know? But if you are warm to them, whatever drink you make for them, you'll enjoy it. Yes. It's, it's that human connection and, and it's word of mouth as well. And people by the side, just beside them, another another group of uh, guests, mm -hmm. but they see it, they feel that um, how do I say this this aura of uh, uh, hospitality and people mm -hmm. will feel that. And I think for hospitality, I think that's the most important. Keep engaging people, uh, even they are alone, with groups. Just check on them, have a small little cheeky talk. You know, uh, if someone's celebrating birthdays, you know, just cheeky shots. You know, just 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 have fun. Cheeky shots. So like sixteen meals. Sixteen meals. <laughs> yeah. So what are you guys selling online? What what's the offering that you're putting on the website? Give me a give me a brief rundown, bro. Uh, we have takeaway cocktails. We have uh. Our usual uh, favorites from Arsenal Drink Store. We have the Milo Old Fashion. We have the Oriental Elixir. Motherfucker! <laughs> hey, Chiba, you sure now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the coffee called Oriental Elixir. Which Motherfucker! Is, <laughs> which is a chrysanthemum and ginseng negroni with chocolate. Johnny, they stole our bar name and put it as a cocktail name. <laughs> Hey, I'm beside you now, so I'll just put a photo in front. <laughs> that, we, hey, that'd be pretty funny, man. <laughs> first marketing right there. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, also uh, Juha Cha, which is a chrysanthemum ginseng gin and tonic. So we are also giving out the tonic as well. So uh, people, uh, <clears throat> consumers who buy that, don't have to go and get tonic or shitty tonic and traps. And yeah, we have this cocktail that's really popular. It's called Silver Screen. Uh, it's a popcorn old fashioned. And of course, we have food. So the usual suspect, Hokkien okay, Mee, Chakwe Tiao, Street Place Chicken, Carrot Cake, Oyster Omelette, and Pie Spice. Yep. Sounds like a plan. So guys, check out all the goodies at Assam's Cool Drink Store. Seaweeds. Hokkien okay, Mee. That is legendary. Go and have yes. the motherfucking Hokkien okay, Mee. And have some fucking cocktails. Order directly from the fucking website. The fucking outlets need your support. Don't give the fucking thirty percent a grab. Delivery. Good man. <laughs> they're useful, but right now they're being dickheads. Yeah, but and you can also my... for us. You can also drop by. You know, just do a pre-order. Just text me. Uh, if you have my number, just text me. Come over here. Uh, give me thirty minutes in advance. I'll prepare the food. You come here, grab and go. If you're driving, just tell me where you're stopping by. I'll just do a drive, drive through. Folks who are watching, yo, Seaweed, put your fucking number on the stream so folks can uh, uh, get in touch with you. Seaweed's gonna put his number and details on the stream, and later you can just pick him. Oh, Edwin Tan, welcome to the stream. Tell him what you need, and Seaweed shall take care of all your needs. I don't know what I'm typing, but. <laughs> See. Fuck yeah, brother. Okay, got Great it. talking to you. That was fantastic. Yes. I haven't talked to you for so long enough. It, it, it's been interesting, you know, like I was talking to RG and Andrew with you, man. Uh, the fact is that you know, <laughs> all of us are just doing all kinds of crazy shit all the time that we, there is almost never time to catch up and have a chat. So, if even though everything else is kind of shit, it's good to talk to you. Uh, it's fucking awesome. Thank you for coming on the show, man. One more thing. Very yes. important. Yes. My number is there if anyone needs any help, uh, needs someone to talk to. You know, we are all here for you. 
uh, feel free to share uh, if you have any difficulty, if you said you were someone to talk to, we are here for you. Uh, Any one of us here, I believe the list here that's watching uh, will be here for you. So don't give up. Let's push on. Uh, you know, there's always a silver lining. Um, and yeah, smile and, and and be happy. You know, there's a lot a lot more things to be happy about than sad There about. really is. You motherfuckers will rely. You ain't dead. You in the fucking ICU. Yes. Yeah, be happy, motherfuckers. Anyway, Thank you, cheers, sir. everyone. Thank you. Cheers, Josh. Thank you, Love you brother. Have a good one. Cheers. Cheers. See you. Bye. Bye. Alrighty, Facebook. You know, sadly, Andy from Tipley Club has cancelled on my fucking ass. You don't love me no more, Andy. Andy, you don't love me no more, Andy. I thought you said you love me, Andy. I feel sad. Fuck you. So apparently, Andy is too busy because he's the only uh, delivery guy for Tipling Club right now. So he's somewhere, uh, somewhere in Geylang on his uh, bicycle. Geylang. You know, <laughs> Andy is years. doing delivery in Geylang. That's all I need to hear. You can use your imagination to figure out what kind of delivery he's taking. <laughs> Zach Mirza, welcome on the stream, baby. Long time no see. Cult Cafe. What, what, what? Cult has a menu. I believe you can find it on their Facebook stream. And now. Because things are not ridiculous enough. Because I am not fun enough. We have decided to bring in the other brown person on the set. Who's laughing? We're gonna have Tristan Calvarho. That's right, Calvarho. We know he a ho, cause he has a ho in his name. <laughs> we know he a ho, cause we know he a ho. He's gonna make a cocktail blindfolded. Why are we doing this? Why not? God knows. But. My colleague over there had the right answer. Why the flying fuck not? If we can do it blindfolded, we okay. can do it with our eyes open. I can't touch this guy because of social distancing. Oh, yes. Okay, I for real can't see shit. Is he in something? Not yet. Give me a second. Oh, fuck you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, reflexes everybody! What's up? Okay, so I didn't, this was not my idea. Yes, it was, but like, I am not happy about this. Okay, so I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a margarita, uh, spiffy style, and hopefully it doesn't taste like shit at the end. Um, oh, it will. Yeah, we'll, let, let, let's, let's see how it goes. Okay, yeah, first, okay, wait, 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 before you start, giving him the song upload! Woo -woo! Okay, first I need to find the fucking shaker, so... Okay, here's the water trap. Okay. Here. Ah, fuck you! Also, I think they're gonna fuck with me while I make this. So... Fuck. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> what is this? Okay, this is bad. Ah! What the fuck is that? What is this? Why is it so heavy? Is this a... Is that a mat. fucking bar mat? Yes, it is. Okay, wait. Um, I don't need to put this. Where the hell is the barmet? Okay, barmet's here. Okay, now we gotta find our tequila. So, vodka. Uh, wait, no, that's. The fuck is this? This is not vodka. What the hell is that? It's chachu. Vodka? Where the hell is the tequila? No. Uh, you need some help? Uh, fuck you. I got this. That is the end of the bar. Okay, wait, no. Left, left, left. This left. is vodka. This is gin. Uh, fuck. Run. Rum. Uh, yes, yes, yes. This is the killer. Yes. Okay. Grab, grab it. Wait, I need to find a fucking jigger. Where's your jigger? Holy shit! Where's my shaker? What the <laughs> fuck happened to your shaker? Give me back my fucking shaker. <laughs> Where the fuck is my shaker, bitch? Bro, it's not me. <laughs> what do you mean it's not you, asshole? It's not me. Fuck this. What the fuck is this? 
Just look again, man. What the fuck? You're stupid. Oh shit, it's here. Okay. Yeah, man. Let me see. Okay. Okay, now I need to find a jigger. Because for some reason, I know free pouring would probably be better in this situation, but just because it's free we jigger everything, I'm gonna fucking use a jigger. The shaker's gone again! Fuck! What jigger shaker, bro? <laughs> the shaker's gone again, cut! Oh my god. Where the fuck okay, is now, it? Now, yeah. okay now, now it's okay. Okay, okay. Where is it? It's here. Okay. So we're just gonna fucking. Ah! Full? I don't even know if that's full or not. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I said <laughs> Okay, the killer's in. I can't put it back. I'm just gonna. That's not where the one. Okay, I'm just gonna put it here. Now I gotta find some control. Get some triple sack up in that bitch. I hope I caught 45. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is triple sack. I'm very impressed that he can feel the bottles by yeah. hand. I'm just like. I should have gone again! No, no, oh! oh. <laughs> Did it drop? Did it drop? No, no, no. Oh my god, it's still there. Okay. Okay. It is gonna. It's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got this. No, Safe. no. I got this. I don't know how much control that is. Don't touch! Don't touch! I, ca I can't see. That's, that's fuck you know. Where is it? Where is it? I swear I'll throw this at someone. What is okay? It's here. I don't even know how much. I'm just gonna put more because more control is good. This is the rim. How the fuck? Why can't I pour? Hey, good. Wait, is this? No, that's not. This OJ. This is. This is. Fuck. This is lemon. This is sugar. My lime juice is. Is this lime juice? It's not lime juice. God damn it! Who took my lime juice? Is this lime juice? No, it's OJ. Okay, you know what? Fuck you guys. I'm using lemon. Ow! <laughs> Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. What? Keep your eyes closed. Okay. I can't, I can't. I can't even smell anything. I can't even smell if I'm doing the, the right idea. Thing. So, yeah, you, you fucked up your uh, okay, curacao. Second. Last try, last try. Last try. Yeah, yeah, you can try again. Okay, last try. So, curacao. Go from curacao. Go from curacao. The tequila's in? Yeah, tequila's in. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, in. I swear, I got, this is yeah, yeah, this this is triple set. This is small side of the trigger. Find the shaker, shaker's name. Cool. Okay, here's a. I think it's twenty or twenty five or less. I don't know. And then come on guys. And then he's just got a fine line. He's got to find the goddamn. That's no, that's my fingers. What the fuck is this? That's lemon. No. No, that was that was lime. I'm I'm giving an idea that you got the right one. Okay, there. I appreciate you. Oh. I, I am so impressed by his ability to do this by hand. Oh my god. Like, bottle shapes, man. Muscle. Oh shit. Is it in? That it's was level. like 10. You, you put 25, but 10 mils went in. Only 10 mils went in. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> A bit more. Okay. Bit more. Bit more. Okay. This is the shaker. <laughs> Did it go in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what she yeah. said. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, jigger goes down. Okay, now we're gonna get some ice for this shit. What the fuck is the ice? Why is it upside? Oh no, it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to, wait, where's the scoop? Scoop is here. Okay, I'm praying this goes in. Okay, a bit of ice. A little bit more. This is the shaker. Oh! Why is there so much? Uh, I think I put too much ice. Fuck it. Okay, so you put the quattro on the small shaker. Okay. Lime on the small shaker. Okay. And the gin. Oh no, tequila on the big one. Ah! 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 Oh! It's so cold! I just hit myself in the face. Ow!
Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you the glass, yeah? No, I'm gonna get it myself. Dude, fuck you. Oh, fuck Put it back! I'll get the damn glass myself! Alright, alright, alright. First, I gotta open the shaker. Okay. Uh, I don't think this is a good idea. But I'm gonna get the glass myself. If I break something, it's, I don't care. Ow! Okay. Okay. Uh, glasses gonna be on the second level. Yeah. Okay. Can I see you? No, that's not the one. This is the one. This is the right one. I see. Okay. And um, this is the water chart. My shaker is yes. It's here. Okay. Cool. Now I need a, a strainer. This is an empty shaker. <laughs> I don't know where you are, but there you okay, go. this is the one. Piece of shit. Okay. Okay, I gotta find the glass again. This is the glass. Right? I swear to God, if you move the fucking glass away, I'll kill someone. I'm gonna spray this one in. What? What? Yeah, bitches! Try it, try it, try it. No, no look. No, 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 don't, don't try it, don't try it. Don't try it? Okay. I'm very proud of myself, I made a margarita. Someone else can try it. Uh, cheers, guys. No, you should try it, bro. Okay, I'm gonna try it, where is it? Oh, wait, 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 this one. Okay, okay. Oh, what the fuck is it? Oh. <laughs> That's good shit. <laughs> That's good shit? That's Campari, bro. That's Campari! Yeah, it's good shit, bitch. I'm not a picky drinker. Okay, now you try it. You know what? This is fucking delicious. A little bit on the sour side, <laughs> but perfect. <laughs> yeah, a little bit on the sour side, but perfect. Shut up. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good drink. Ugh. Fuck you! Okay, tastes like a margarita, except that like, it has no croissant in it, but okay, fine. Oh, God damn okay it. with that. I tried. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Wonderful. 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 Skills pay bills! Not at the Spiffy Dapper. Fantastic. That was our Did good friend roll? Tristan, aka known as. Wait, what happened? Did we lose our stream? Did we? No. We're good. We're happy. Great. Right. AKA known as the logistics arm of the Spiffy Dapper. If you ever order a cocktail online and you get it delivered, it's my man Tristan who delivers it to you. I shall now make a cocktail live on the stream. I have now finished making the cocktail. I am now drinking the cocktail. It is a fantastic cocktail. And since Andy from Tippling has forgotten about me, he does not care about me, about my feelings. Joyce, go! You want a drink, baby? Order on the stream. We will deliver it to your house by India Logistics, Tristan Calvaro. Coming to you, love, the best. Andrew from Old Man has given me a drop of love. And we could to show you what he gave me. Check it out! It's a t-shirt. That says the old man. I always want a t-shirt. It's a black t-shirt! Oh, 
Oh my god, I just saw myself on the stream. That is like the most disgusting thing I've seen in my whole fucking life. I'm sorry guys. I did not mean to do that. No, I was kidding. I knew exactly how you guys were gonna feel. But I took my shirt off on the stream. And now let's see what the old man has to say. Old man, cocktail, serving instruction, farewell to arm, 1929. Sun also rises, 1926. Papa double clear. Little wax puppy, classic old fashioned, dead old fashioned. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. Little wax puppy. Anthony. The sun also rises. Clear off. Old fashioned. Oh. Clear old fuck. Oh. I am a clear old fuck. Fuck you, Damon. You're not getting to taste any of this. What's it? Look at that ice. That's cool. See, I tell all of you guys that Piffy is a shit bar. Like, this is live demonstration on why Spiffy is a shit bar. Other people give clear eyes. We don't even give eyes. Because it's minimalist. Why are you touching my drinks? Fuck off. Whoa. All right, little wax puppy serve with block ice, just one lemon peel above the cocktail. Pour the lemon peel into glass to enjoy the cocktail. The eyes so clear, I can see through, bro. Very nice, man. Hey, hey. Garnish! What say? Okay, what do I use? Put lemon peel above cocktail. Okay. Okay. Put lemon peel or no? Yeah. Just with one lemon peel above the cocktail. Shh. Okay. Put the lemon peel into the glass to enjoy the cocktail. You're on the camera. Why are you on my show? Yes. An old man will wax puppy. Will melt your soul. Will make you go into raptures of happiness that you never heard before. <laughs> It's still my drinks! That's it, I'm done with the fucking stream for the day. Andy forgot me, he's in Gaylon getting himself a fucking blowjob. So fuck you Andy. Old man's nice to me, they gave me a fucking t-shirt and three fucking cocktails. Good job Andrew. Fantastic job. And the rest of the fucking losers watching from your house, go get a life. Find another fucking stream to watch. Fuck off. Good night. <laughs>